social media power chat. I'm Mia Voss of the Mia Connect, trying out the new Google Hangouts, goofing it up already. Can't even get it to work, but what are you going to do? So uh, it's it's always something. Uh, today is a PJ party. I have my guest, Christine DeGraff, and Miss Krithika, and I can't say your last name, darling, but you know I love you. <laughs> I'm trying. Welcome to the show, ladies. Let me give you a little applause. I don't hear anything. <laughs> ah, hopefully everybody can hear it too. You know how I love because you know I love this. <laughs> and as usual, I look somewhat like a Japanese martial arts movie because there's a little bit of <laughs> with my voice. Joe Romeo was just on the phone with me, and he's been on the show a couple times. He's going to help me out next week. So let's get rolling. Okay, first off, um, let's roll out. I don't have a, a teddy bear today, but the girls do. So, Christine, let's see your teddy bear. This is Taddy Teddy yeah. from sendateddy.net. <laughs> and I love my little, it says, what I love about you. Uh-huh. And then it says everything. Everything. Oh, love it. <laughs> Get a girlfriend. Hey, let's see your PJs. Oh, I, I am animal. Oh, it's <laughs> awesome. Are the pants matched too? Stop it. That's my girl. Now, for everybody that knows when you do these shows, um, staying in our PJs is not really a big reach. I've got um, like a 18-inch Earphone, so I can't really <laughs> move much. <laughs> I got it. All right, Miss Krithika, Miss Kitty Cat, let's see your PJs and your teddy bear. Oh, Welcome well, to the show, this darling. Is my teddy bear. Oh, I do it. not have a name for it because I have like 25 of them on my bed, and so it's really hard to remember. So I really don't have a name for it. <laughs> but yeah, so I got a shirt yesterday, and it says like, you can see it's like um, meow and kitty. That's our girl. Kitty cat. <laughs> Kitty cat. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. My name. My girl. So. <laughs> for, your, for your inaugural visit on Google Hangouts, girlfriend busted out in yes. PJs. I love it. All right. Here's what I got. Mine are just little, um, little flower PJs that match. And then, of course, I've got matching umbrellas in the background. Random. I know. But I'm at my friend uh, Nils' office. I actually came in in my PJs, and she put up some of her uh, fun little umbrellas. That's her uh, business called Splendor here in Denver. So somebody's getting a phone call because it's important. What's going it's on? It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Who that? Oh, I think it's me. I miss Kitty. Just... She's on. She's on the line. So um, listen, let's celebrate. Uh, Krithika, because this is her first time on a Google Hangout. Bless yes. you, honey. Getting out of your comfort zone. I know it's cray cray, but so far, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really nervous, but you know, I have to apologize to your audience in advance because <clears throat> your shows are always so much fun, and I apologize if I do not provide much value because oh, I'm on, still now. a newcomer okay. to the platform, but. It's an honor to be with you both, I tell you. I mean, I've texted this lots of times, but I have to shout it out. I love you both so very much. I mean, you want – I don't understand why, but I just – I feel connected to both of you. And so it's just fantastic it. to, you know, make my debut with both of you. It's just my superstars. We're re rolling you out with open arms uh, and rolling you out to the world for sure. Um, I, I'm trying to think the first time we got connected – but I know certainly one of the things we, Christine and I, love about Google Plus is that people connect with one another, interact, um, and shout exactly. one another out. And I think one of the first things that you did is you wrote a blog post on one of the shows we were on and just busted it out. And I'm yes. like, look at this girl, like putting yes. out the good content. So I, I, I think the thing that I, I, the phrase I use for you is definitely a content curator because then you take it and then you've got your spin on it as well. So you guys need <laughs> to pay attention to what girlfriend's doing over here. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, hold on. I, I don't think I can show this, but you guys need to go to the event page because Craig. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Irma Gerd in pajamas. <laughs> oh, Irma Gerd is my favorite. I can't even take it. So we're gonna start um, before we roll in. We're gonna start with some of our comments. Our our favorite Johan. Ah, uh, the umbrellas. Mia Voss Splendor. Thank you, Johan, darling, my H rock star. I know that Jason Weiser and Krithika have always, almost also joined that group, and I think Christine needs to be in on it. Um, Linda where, where have I been? I haven't heard of this. <laughs> oh, we'll go for the uh, way. Johan's gonna bust you. He's gonna bust you out with an invite in about oh, two seconds. Thank Wait you. for it. Um, Linda Bate, she always comes in and pipes in. My girl on the West Coast. Yeah, I love her. Uh, yeah, she, oh, isn't she great? She's got yeah, some great she's energy. Always. 
Um, Logan Lynn, we had a good chat, which she was not able to get on the show that we were on yesterday. Christine, we had a good chat last night. She's awesome. Uh, Thomas Nelson, coming out of Denver. This is my youngest child. I don't remember his name, but he is mine. <laughs> that is oh, that's so cute. Uh, English Atkins, thank you for being on the show. Here's our newbie. Excited to hear what we'll share today. So thank you for that. James Serino, he was cracking me up last week. He had some good stuff too. Nice few days. This was Christine's idea, by the way. So I got to well, give you a shout. For let that. me tell you why exactly. This that's I it. my work clothes are PJs. Oh. I, I mean, at a purpose. <laughs> if I go shopping for work clothes, I'm going shopping for new pajamas. And you know, when when you see me on the Google Hangouts, my my kids crack up because I am dressed up from the top, from here up, and then I've got PJs on bottom, and they're like. You know, for one thing, they're like, where are you going? Why are you all dressed up? And then they see that I have pajamas on, and they're like, oh, okay, you're, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what an upgrade is yoga pants. Like, that's dressing. <laughs> and I'm, I think um, I would love everybody to raise their hand, who, by the way, lives like we do, that they're all like, yeah. Our business on top, party on the bottom, comfort on the bottom. <laughs> I mean, I you know, ever since I started working at home, I just... You know, I, I do the PJ thing, no makeup, you know, um, and it's it's just so normal that now it's like, oh, my God, i got to put makeup on to go somewhere. It's <laughs> such a hassle, you know. I, you know what? And I've tried to do that, too, where have you guys heard that thing where you see it in a lot of women's magazines of, like, you know, you should even if you're working from home, you should get up and be dressed. Yeah. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, <laughs> I love I can habit. stay in my pajamas all day. I yeah. love pajamas. It's just so comfortable. I hear I, you, I just, I just make sure that I put the jeans on every once in a while to make sure they're still buttoned. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like a test run? <laughs> yeah, because you could get rid of really a little too, you know, like, <laughs> After a couple weeks, you know, with the elastic, and then you try the jeans on, and like, oh no! <laughs> All right, I'll tell one story, and then we'll we'll jump into that. But I, I literally, I have a bad habit. Greg Boyson knows this of because I get so comfortable. Um, I wear things inside out. I'm not paying attention. I just throw it on, <laughs> and he'll come in, and he'll kind of he'll point at the label. He'll tap me on the label on the back. And there's been many a time at Safeway, I get home, I'm like, oh shh. Yeah. I do that all the time. <laughs> well, you have no idea. How why, Christine? I would say I, I did make sure that I had matching pajamas on today for you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's just like uh, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, you whatever is clean enough, you know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the sniff test, okay, yeah. now we're getting bad. But I know there are a ton of people out in the audience because everything is blowing up. Ken Bruce, mm -hmm. we love you. Uh, Stephen Q. Sannon, what not to wear show won't be hearing from me immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the closet is now open for costume changes. That's mm -hmm. Art Gillick who popped onto our show a couple weeks, uh, weeks ago, so shout out for that. That too. So, <laughs> so we've decided, um, you know, we we're going to talk. We got a couple subjects to talk about. Of course, everything loops on social media here. So we'll also dish on what's the latest and greatest. And while we're talking about the next subject, I would love for you guys to pop in on the question and answer with anything latest and greatest that you've seen in social media. Any dirt or dish that you would like for us to share? Um, I especially love any uh, great postings that went viral or anything where. Um, somebody really messed up <laughs> and we can point it out of like what not to do on social media that's me I love schadenfreude of, of uh, train wreck so feel free to for post that too so here's what I was thinking we chat about today um, is uh, women in uh, you know well we're definitely talking about women in business but um, for all of us I get the feeling and I know from talking to these two ladies that we have these things that we do on social media but we also have jobs that are our money makers or other things that we do um, and I think that is a lot. I talked to uh, Logan Lynn last night, and she was saying she's doing several things. Realtor, she's done PR, and we're all trying to like move that into obviously money makers. So Christine, jump in on that because you know you obviously are known as this. Um, I'm not going to say the CQ. <laughs> I ain't going to do it. Thank but you. You are, you are well known for being uh, a tax. At circling, um, <laughs> and then you also have other businesses. So uh, talk to me about that, about sort of what your, you know, what your money makers are, and then you know what you're doing here, your various hats that you wear. Well, I mean, for the past seven years, um, my dad and I have partnered um, on a web 
um, development company. Um, we've done very well. Uh, for a few years, I did actually have an office, and I went there every day because, you know, I felt like, uh, well, the first couple years I did it working from home, but um, I did it upside down. Like, um, I would basically work when I wasn't supposed to, according to my ex-husband, who is now my ex-husband. <laughs> and now I and, uh, a girl. <laughs> And because um, I, you know, I'm a workaholic, so I work. I like to work. It, I enjoy it, so I would work all the time. So I ended up getting an office so I could kind of separate the home from work life. But what I ended up doing is just staying at the office till midnight. So that didn't really work out either. Right. So anyway, now I'm back at home. Um, like I said, I have a web design company. We uh, we're actually kind of, um, you know, we're going down separate paths, we're changing things up. My, my dad is getting ready to retire um, and I want to get more into social media consulting. Um, so, you know, I kind of six months ago, we pretty much stopped taking new clients. We just take a few and um, I jumped in full time to really learning, you know, social media, Google Plus and, right. you know, it's like my full time gig now. So, um, it's, it's not hasn't paid very well up until now as far as you know Google's not paying me or anything but um we've got some things going on and in fact you know do you want to should we give our announcement or you know what we can't hold on a second and it'll it'll make it'll make shit blow up I know it will before we do that can I just say real quick um, everybody's asking me about the Q&A you guys I don't use Q&A on here because I feel like it's great for replay but it's confusing to go back back and forth so please just post it in the comments that's just me I'm not saying I'm right I'm just saying so that's how you do it so uh, Christine and I have an announcement and then we're gonna get to Miss Kitty too but here it is hold on <laughs> And you're going to say it, Christine. What's our new announcement, darling? Um, Mia and I will be co-hosting a show starting on Wednesday, November 13th. And um, we're actually going to do it um, in a big way. And yep. we have some sponsors um, that I'd like to give a shout out to. Yes. Um, we have um, Web Hosting Choose by Scott Bueller. And Hold on. he's, I think. So, Okay. <laughs> and um, he, like, you know, he's a friend of mine. I am actually um, am partnering with him on another um, another endeavor, which I'll talk about um, later or another time. But uh, he's such a great guy. And when he heard that um, you and I were doing a show, he was all over it. He's like, you know, I want to sponsor you guys. You guys should be getting paid to do this. And I just so much appreciate it. And um, another right. um, great guy is Jeff Billings. Um, he's one of my secret seven, as you know. Yes, hold on. And, um, for him. Jeff Billings. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and um, Jeff, um, he manages the Holiday Inn of Washington, D.C., which I cannot wait to go stay there sometime. I'm definitely planning a hangout in real life at the Holiday Inn in Washington, D.C., and it is going to be off the freaking hook. That is on and popping. I'm flying out for that one. All right. Denver's and, um, coming to, to, yeah. to that area. Yeah. And uh, that website is uh, www.ndc.com, and that's in with an I-N-N, -N, so uh -huh. for Holiday Inn. Right. <laughs> and it's actually within walking distance of the White House and everything that's going on there. And I'm telling you that, you know, just first of all, um, that hangout is going to be off the hook. Let me tell you. But uh, <laughs> but uh, just the fact that he's he you know I, I asked him as well and he was just like of course you know definitely want to sponsor you guys. So hey, oh honey I love that and so I mean that's a that's a, a great um, you know it's a great segue to to you too about you know what we're all doing because um, you know we you can get really popular and be super broke. On, uh, yes. <laughs> on the internet. Let me, let me also just throw in there, you guys, I'm still going to be doing this show because we love the format of having all these different people. The format that Christine, Christine and I are going to be doing is not going to be social media focused, but more people focused. And man, are there going to be a lot of people we're going to have a lot of fun with talking about what they do, right? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, um, me and I were talking about it and we just love thought, it. you know, she's already got a social media show. It does very well. 
there are lots of other social media shows that are in the space and they're also doing well. Um, you know, they have different. I I think Kitty it's great. Alert. <laughs> Kitty alert. <laughs> <laughs> it's great because you know they have the they have each have their own focus, and I think that they're all providing a lot of value. But we just wanted to do something, you know, unexpected, which everybody says, oh, they're going to do a social media show. No, we're not. <laughs> nope, I got that covered on Fridays. Christina will still come on here. Well, I mean, I know Miss Kitty's going to be back on here again oh, yeah. as soon as we're going to, mm, we got her broken in now. Oh, um, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's a one-time thing, and I'll be let off the hook. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. You're, com you're coming up for sure. So, um, so yeah, I mean, and that's the great thing, too, is that, you know, for Christine, I, you, you know, you've made the change out of, of you know, pushing the circles <coughs> as much. I mean, that, not that we love it. We still love that format as well. But I think that everybody on Google Plus has a lot of different things going on. It's all about juggling it. I feel like Shiva with, the, you know, I got the eight arms going on, like trying to keep it all going on. I think what you end up doing, I know for myself, is just figuring out which one works the best. And then oh. you got to drop, drop the baggage. Thomas, Thomas Nelson wants to know, isn't it dangerous to wear a scarf to bed, Mia? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Thomas, you busted me out. So here's the reason why, as some of you guys know, I kind of debated, but I was trying to find a Hello Kitty bandage, but I had half of my thyroid removed uh, on Monday. Yay me. Go drugs. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to jump to my back crap crazy real quick, which is Rose Medical Hospital where I had my surgery, and especially Nurse Stephanie, who scratched my back at 2 a.m., when all the meds were making me itchy. So, <laughs> yay, that's my back crap crazy is for the hospital where I had my uh, surgery. So. But at least I match. I thought it was yes, kind of a good look. I figured somebody was going to notice, like, cute. what's up with the scarf. So, yay. Yay. And Lena Bate is saying, yay for people-focused. Uh, me and Christine, we need more of that. So, yay. That's awesome. Um, I love we'll, Linda Beach. I, I know I love her. <laughs> um, we're going to jump real quick, um, and we'll get into this in our show. Adriana wants to know, where can potential sponsors get a media one sheet about your show, the list, the advertising, and sponsorship price? We're, that, we'll, we'll have that available soon, and we will make sure she gets one. Yeah, absolutely. Coming soon uh, to a theater near you, faux show. We uh -huh. also have a community for it, uh, this page as well, um, so we'll put that on here. Uh, we'll put that on, on the events, too. So, again, two separate shows. I'm going to get kick-ass busy with this. It's so fun. When I started um, the show, uh, I guess, about six months ago to talk about, like, some of the different things that I've done, um, I had I had no idea where I was going to go. I just knew that I wanted to talk to people and bring it on. And the social media power chat, same thing. You guys have heard me tell the story that I was sitting in this networking meeting and, like, Boop, 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 board. I'm like, what can I do? What can I think up crazy? <laughs> and um, that's when I realized, like, I, you know, I get on hangouts with people like Randy Hlarski and Annabelle and Tom Coleman, and we dish about, well, oh, did you see this and did you see that? I'm like, gosh, why don't we make it a show? So that's kind of how that turned it into this as well. And I'm, I'll be building sponsorship programs as well. But it really was more just to <coughs> showcase people and how much smart stuff we got going on out there. But then again, as some of you know, I did the show yesterday, and I wiped off my little eye kitty whiskers and then put on a hard hat and went to a job site because one of my other businesses is building inspection. And, um, you know, it's lucrative again, but it died out eight years ago, and I had to recreate. And who, raise your hand, if everybody here hasn't had to recreate in the last four years. <laughs> Duh, I mean, uh, yeah, we all had to, had to do something, uh, you know, completely different. So, oh, yeah. Uh, with well, that, oh, go ahead, Christine. Go ahead. For me, I mean, with the web design, you know, just oh, things change so rapidly. So, I mean, it's been for the past seven years reinventing all the time, you know. Um, but that's just, I think that that's the thing is when, when you realize that no matter what business you're in, sometimes you do need to reinvent or you need to, um, you know, you need to embrace the new changes, social media changes, things like that. You need to keep up. And I think um, people who can adapt or, and change, you know, are the ones that are going to be successful and the ones Absolutely. that are just really, like, you know, um, won't let go of certain things and won't change, um, they're the ones that usually die out. Left behind. Um, yeah. And sometimes but let's, their voices sound louder when they don't agree. I mean, yeah, especially for us that are kind of going on a limb. I know for me, for Google+, Plus, I still get a hard time, you know, over my Facebook world, which I still love, um, but, um, you know, you, you, you hear the naysayers and you feel like, okay, you know, gosh, maybe maybe I'm just wasting my energy, but you really have to, you know, trust your gut 
And um, and no, Christine, you're absolutely right. Like you you got to stay on top of it and you know be be on it. Yep. But let's talk about kitty cat. Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna segue because I heard her say that. I know you raised your hand, girlfriend. Tell us what you're doing now besides writing awesome blogs and reiterating and going out and showcasing all the people that you love. You are so good about it, and that's why you're becoming a rising star in this in this arena, oh, darling. Well, thank you. Well, that's what I'm pretty much doing right now. But um, we're talking about change. Um, four years ago, I was um, a telecom consultant, actually, in Virginia. I worked there for four years. and um, But during my tenure, I was um, diagnosed with an eating disorder. Mm -hmm. I had anorexia. And okay. um, at the age of 27, I, I was like 70 pounds. And I was told that if I didn't make a change, I was going to die. So it was that serious. And wow. so, you know... It, mm. I knew I was not passionate about what I was doing in the past. I mean, I liked it, but I wasn't really putting my heart into it because what I've always loved is writing. I mean, words have fascinated me forever. So that's what, I mean, if there's one goal in my life, I want to be known as a really good writer. So, and Google Plus is a fantastic platform for me to practice that skill. And so, you know, and I should shout out to Jason Weiser here, who's really given me this incredible opportunity of um, summarizing his hangouts, which, you know, are wonderful, they're so snackable, and they're just um, <laughs> they're <laughs> so full of information. <laughs> oh, wait, we're going to do this for Jason. Hold on. Uh, I heard some they can't hear the sound effects. I, I did too, so. but I think some people can, so we're going to tell us if you can or you can't. Thank you, Christine. I appreciate that. But yes, Krithika, um, he, I, he's, again, that's a great opportunity. He has a lot of good stuff to do, but um, yeah, honey, so you're just making that work. I mean, what a great way to turn... Uh, what was really tough and making that change and saying, if I don't change things up, it's not going to work yes. for me physically, I, emotionally. I, I am begging Krithika to write a guest blog post for me. So I've already yeah. asked her. <laughs> she said uh, yes. And I'm second in line. <laughs> yes. yes, definitely. No problem. Um, but, you know, um, one thing, I mean, I wouldn't want my worst enemy to go through what I've gone with my health and everything. But one thing it did teach me is that it's okay to fail. You know, I was always afraid of trying new things because I was afraid I was going to fail. But today, you know, I know it's going to take me a while to break into the social media field, but I'm committed to it and I'm willing to work hard and, you know, build those connections and engage and contribute and just, you know, grow as a community. And I'm not afraid to, I mean, as long as I do my job sincerely, I'm okay if it takes me 10 years to get to where, you know, I want to go. So I think that's one good life lesson that I learned is that I'm not afraid to try out new things anymore. So It's not going to take you 10 years. You, yeah. are, <laughs> you are going to rise oh, very right. quickly, trust me. Well, and, and, just, and, and, and truly because of the authentic, uh, I mean, the things that you write, and then I'm like, oh, Krithika wrote just the best thing, and I'm always trying to think up something cool to write <laughs> back because it's so authentic. It makes people feel great. You point out things. Um, you, you really summarize things very well, too, because a lot of times on our Hangouts, um, you know, mine are an hour, Jason's are half an hour. There's a lot of good content in there, so you're right. very ad adept at doing that, too. And, yeah, I agree, Christine. I've been watching her numbers oh. <laughs> just, to see, just to see how it goes, so I love that. Um, hold on a second. Heather Crafter, just to give you a uh, hi, Heather. I love her. She says, Krithi is my oh. favorite new person to me on the web. So glad I stumbled upon. Let's see. Uh, and your uh, upon oh, you and your skills, back crap crazy over Miss K. That is awesome. She <laughs> is in our mastery group as Heather. well. I hashtag she's crafty. That's what I always say for Heather. So with a K, <laughs> hashtag yeah. she's crafty is a good one too. So, honey, thanks for um saying that. I think as far as with the eating disorder, I think that that Google Plus is a great place to also be really honest and say um, things are faulty. I've had this go on. I've had this, you know, and I've, I've you know. I've, I've had a you know overcome it either through you know getting involved, being aware, but putting a voice to things. Like for me, I thought, oh gosh, I don't want to say anything about my surgery. You know, no, you know what? I had a I had a biopsy. We're still waiting for the final final right. results, but just putting things out there and saying it's okay to uh, to go through things and then kind of rise up above it, not to get too kumbaya because you guys yes. know how I love to do that. But <laughs> yes, you know, I mean, I've had people tell me, you know, why I keep talking about my past, and they're like, you know, just forget about it. It's, mm. it's I said. 
I'm not going to forget about it. You know, I'd rather be um, honest about it and be embarrassed than dishonest and ashamed of myself. You know, it's it's I, I made a mistake and I own up to it and I've learned something from that whole experience and you know, it's it's part of me. Your past is is part of you and it teaches you something. It's you just have to grow with it. That's all. I mean, I cannot just ignore or shun whatever I did. Yeah. And so I've always, even when I go on interviews or something, I actually tell them this is what I've been through, this is what is going on with me. I know they ask, you know, people told me not to do that, but I, I just want to be completely upfront because I think transparency is the only way you can really have a long-term success kind of, you know. So it's just something that I'm working on, yes. <laughs> two, two biggest words I think we all use uh, are authenticity and transparency. And I also add in the phrase of hot mess just to, you know, put that in there to say. <laughs> oh, I it's love a, that it, phrase, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's so good because it, it, it's, it's something where you can just go, look, it is what it is. And then you don't get caught up in it. Women especially, we really, really get caught up in, in how it looks. I, 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 God, I wish I could be a guy sometimes where they're like, so? Yeah, <laughs> they really have that ability to not be as caught up. You know, the toilet paper hanging out of the shoes, they don't give a crap. Well, they probably gave a crap, but you know what I'm saying. Well, you know, my, no. my fiancé actually calls me, he says I am a dude, and I said, well, then I'm a dudette, because I'm actually <laughs> not a dude. I mean, really, you know, but... um. <laughs> oh, listen, Thomas Nelson just had the best quote. I'm hoping it comes up here real quick if you guys go see it. Um, oh, it's not up here. Uh, he says that... Um, your past helps develop your future. Amen. Yes. I love oh, that. Yeah. It's not that you're sitting. I mean, I, I always I tell people a lot. I, I come from a background of um, extreme childhood trauma, and it's been really tough. But um, you know, I it's made me who I am today. I don't sit in it all the time. As a victim, it's more like you know. A, the one thing I'm not is really patient with people though that sit in their trauma or you know kind of feel sorry. I'm like, mm -mm, let me give you something to cry about, right? <laughs> uh, and uh, and it, I think that's that's how you can be too. That is, thank you for saying that though. Uh, yeah, Thomas, your past helps about your, yes. your future. Absolutely. So so tell us um, uh, what what if you had your big wish list, Krithika, if you could wave mm -hmm. the magic wand, what would you want to be doing on Google Plus? That is your uh, your revenue stream. Um, what's your wish list of what you want to be doing that you're making money and having fun? I know that's a big question, but I'm gonna throw mm -hmm. it out there. Oh, making money. I've not even thought about it, actually. Oh, you know, right well, now, I'm just it. focused on, you know, building connections and what Christine calls social currency. I really like the word. But it's just kind of, um, you know, just networking with the right people. And it's going to take a while for me to think about monetizing my website and all that. So right now, I'm just focused on getting the content out and, you know, sharing, resharing, just um, helping other people and just, you know, collaborating in this community. That's pretty much what I'm focused on right now. So I've not even thought about monetizing anything so far. I only, yeah, I was doing the same thing, um, you know, <clears throat> focusing on um, on building the community and right. all. Right. But then mm -hmm. comes comes the time when you know you start to starve a little bit, and you're like, yes, that is true. Okay, <laughs> you know, well, you, gotta see, you gotta see what's going on behind Christine. This is fun, but you know, yeah, what do we, got? Oh, we got some kitty oh, so porn going on. So adorable. <laughs> She had the leg like up over her head. Bless her heart. Bob Boss is watching at home. She's making her she's making her debut, yeah. Bob Boss is watching at home like, ooh, wow. He's probably gonna be friending your cat any second. I, I think yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. No, no, good. no I, I, I said I think Craig Fifield said his dogs are going to be watching me today too. So yeah, shout out to his dogs too. You know, yes, yeah, Craig. They're my Craig cheerleaders and, here, and his, <laughs> and his team. You got the dog back there too. You know, that's one thing. When I started, um, I've told this before too. When I started the show again, I had a radio show before, and it just I, I knew it wasn't my brand. I was promoting somebody else, and I started doing the Mia Connect on air and you know the question I got was why are you doing it how are you gonna make money and I'm like I don't know yet so I kinda had to go on my sort of own spiritual gut of like sure. this is what I know I want to be doing and then I started connecting with people and then that's where I knew what I wanted to do instead of making it like sell sell you know thing right off the bat is more of like let's just get out there and build that audience and do right. the work and exactly God, Christine you out of anybody know you've spent a lot of time on building that and not just as a lark and not just more of a, a, a thing sure. to do but like to authentically build something and that's that's where I'm at that's with it too. Off. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well I mean similar when I started um, breaking out on my own for web design I mean I worked for a company for you know two companies for a couple <coughs> years I was the programmer for the Philadelphia Flyers and then when I started my own company you know 
I started networking with people and I started giving away some websites to some um, local nonprofits mm -hmm. and you know I did one for um, for our town we have a annual event and things like that to build a portfolio to show what I could do to get some connections going and then you know I started um, monetizing and um, you know getting some clients I mean I kind of see it as you know um, you don't you know that there's money to be made so right. you know you know you're on the right path you just but there are steps to take that I wanted I wanted to take to do it a certain way which is what I'm doing now I have three teenagers actually um, um, my niece and nephew live with me and my daughter um, and they're all so they're 17 18 and 19 all live it all live at home <laughs> I'm busy I don't like charge it. them rent I pay their car insurance so you know Recently, I said to him, I said, you know, Mama Bear, that's what they call me, Mama Bear is not making so much money anymore um, since I haven't been taking new web clients, and you guys all have jobs, so I think you should start paying your car insurance. Yeah. Well, and they said, well, why'd you quit your job? Why don't you go get a car? <laughs> oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm not supporting you forever, and you know That's this right. is my choice now. Um, you know, maybe you won't be able to go out to dinner every night like you have been. You know, they're waitresses, and you know, so. But uh, yeah, car insurance. That's what they're going to be paying. <laughs> Guys, go look at the event. Craig just posted his smoochy faces on the photo. Oh, I can't even. Oh it. gosh, take that photo down. <laughs> they they did a bad screenshot of me. <laughs> and delete that one too. Delete. Um, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, you know, I, I think that's. Um, I, I people have asked me too because one of the things that you know I have Namia Connect and that's I do social media strategies for serial entrepreneurs. Well, as of this, as of uh, last month, I just pretty much turned myself into my own client. I learned a lot. That was a new business I came up with when the constructions in the industry died out and started working with some entrepreneurs here in Denver. And then that is something I decided, like, wait, I'm going to make myself my own client. And same thing, I've made the commitment. And it's, you know, it's scary financially to say this is what I'm going to spend my time doing. But I think on a spiritual level, too, I felt like this is, you know, this is what uh, Spirit's kind of telling me to, to do. Sorry, Christine, I blue bought you so everybody was watching you. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think a lot of people can relate to that, too, of saying, all right, I'm going to get aligned and say, and not to give juju, but I always do, like, this, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what my gift is, you know? Yes, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> man, we are getting some good comments. Faye, Faye Hansock, what up, Faye? Uh, great role models you, are, you all are. Real women in gym jams have made mistakes and made changes, but honest, awesome, and inspiration today. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Yay. Uh, Ken Bruce, love this one, too, to understand your past is to understand yourself. Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, Oh, class. I know. You, you <laughs> dig that one? That one I love, too. Hold on a second now. I've got it up here somewhere. Oh, a Sexy Metals was a theme of a past show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Where did it go? Just uh, kitty porn is obviously the theme here. <laughs> you can't tell. My cat, my cat has been... I, you should have told me what my cat was doing there. Well, Sorry, I, I, I was looking at it, and then I just saw the leg up. Like I said, Thomas Nelson always uh, brings it back. I tried to monetize my brand, then I got a solicitation of prostitution charge. <laughs> huh, I guess I need to reevaluate the way I monetize that crap crazy. Thomas is doing a lot. He's an you know, attorney here in Denver, but he's also um, helping people with videos. Ooh, let me see Kid a Cat. Let me see. Oh, hi, Puds. Oh, oh Bob Voss wants to hit doing, that. Let me Bob. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Well, we're going to segue into another part of that same conversation is that uh, Christine and uh, Krithika and I are all women who are in industries that are male dominated. Google Plus, of a sense, is also um, can be male dominated when you see a lot of the shows. I know a lot of my shows, mm -hmm. just me as the, the lone hen. With a bunch of roosters uh, today, it's all hot hens. But um, <laughs> let's jump into that. I mean, no, I know for myself certainly, I've been in the construction industry. I have a, a, a weird niche business where I do punchless management. I'm the girl that everybody loves to hate on a construction site. Um, but it's such a balance of coming in, and and I don't, you know, not having to be like, I'm, you know, I'm a girl. Respect me because I'm a girl. Um, you know, just trying to be a, a person on a job with the business. Absolutely. 
to a woman and going with that distinction I, I, I coach a lot of women here in Denver of like you know just say you're a woman in a, 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 per, a business person who happens to be a woman I hate sometimes flipping that moniker a little bit some somebody may some people may not agree with me but do you know what I mean of like I just want to be known for being a kick-ass business person absolutely sure absolutely um, well, in web design, Christine, I mean, that, yeah. I mean, well, especially when I worked for the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, I love that, by the way. Oh, you know, uh, I, didn't, I talk, didn't know that. Talk about, <laughs> talk about male dominated, you know. It was, um, and, and the funny thing is, is the, the two programmers were women, um, and, you know, the, the rest of the IT staff was mostly men. So it was definitely um, interesting, but um, that was a very male dominated. Um, Obviously, a male-dominated sport, um, and just the whole business. You know, there were it was kind of um, seemed to me that there really wasn't much opportunity for growth there. Um, actually, some one of my ex bosses uh, told another employee, a woman, that there were no um, no elevators, only empty shafts, something like that. That you know. <laughs> I, I don't like know. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that meant, but, uh, but yeah, it seemed like you know if you wanted to um, participate, then you wanted to get as a woman, you were expected to help out with the Flyers' wives carnival, um, and not much else. So yeah, I was kind interesting. Of glad, glad to get out of there. It's, it, it is a really tough balance. I know for myself, I've walked into construction sites before and been literally the lone woman, and it goes dead silent, which I have to tell you is a lot more uncomfortable than whistles. The dead silent <laughs> <laughs> it is not a good feeling. Kendall People says, IT in commercial construction, you're like male on male on male. <laughs> you gotta, there needs to be many more women in IT. Uh, exactly, exactly. Krithika, how about for you? What's your experience of, well, of um, being the I lone was... chick wolf? Yeah, when I was um, in the telecom industry, in my office, I had like I think two girls and like twenty-five guys. So you could see the difference in the connections. I mean, they would bond over their own, you know, their male bonding stuff. So it was hard mm -hmm. to break into their right. Group. But so far on social media, it's been all right for me. I mean, because okay. I haven't really. Um, it's I've been doing everything online. So and and all the men I've met are fantastic. So <laughs> I have no problems so far. Hopefully. Don't you think, I, I agree with that. When I, I feel like this is a really level playing field. Um, I definitely, when I started the show, I didn't see, you know, there's de there's definitely some shows out there. And I, again, I see that a lot of the hangouts that are super male dominant. So I love Christine. I, I see if you and pick Fitzpatrick get, um, you know, mentioned a lot up in, in there. So I'd love to see more of that. So let's go, ladies. Let's rally and, and get that, you know get that 50-50 voice going out oh, there. Oh, absolutely. There's some smarty yeah. pants going on, too. I just have to mm -hmm. shout out Jason Weiser. This is funny. I would love to be a fly on the wall watching you crack the whip on the construction site, Mia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. When I tell people, I'm like, I just boss men around. It's awesome. <laughs> You know, I, and I, I crack the whip in my own house. So. Yes, <laughs> Mama Bear. That's Mama right. Bear got, got the whip. Craig Fifield says, I worked at Microsoft for 10 years with 99% men. It sucked. Women make everything better. Well, most of them. Well, most women. That is a true story. That, yeah, you can't say everybody because some of us are a pain in the ass. No, and if you look at Pinterest, for example, it's forever mm -hmm. known as a women-dominated platform. But now, right. I like if I, I remember I'm interning at a social media forum right now, and um, anytime you bring up Pinterest, they're like, "Oh, only ladies are on that. You know, they won't be interested in what we're doing." But I just read several articles now on how men are also getting interested and are entering that particular platform. So I think that's a good sign. You know that you know it's kind of like you said, it's a level. It's becoming a level playing field, which is fantastic. You know, I, I agree. I had to correct. So I had to correct myself from two weeks ago, and I'm not even. Been, I don't know if that was a show we were on, Christine. I was like, oh, you know, it could be considered a sewing circle. But I bet you're going to say this, Christine. Isn't Stefan Hobnavian? He's. Huge I was about on, to take his name. <laughs> yeah, he was huge on. I love on him, Pinterest. by the way. Yeah, shout out. He's totally Stephon. my watchdog. Yeah, but but you know, definitely um, my experience since I started my own business and in social media in general has been that I've been well respected as a business person. It hasn't really been a male female thing. The only um, it was only just recently I actually did get quite trolled here on Google Plus and was told to take my housewife 
back to Facebook or something like that. Let me tell you, I'm not a housewife. I am not a housewife. <laughs> oh, you do, girl. When you I, tell I, me about I that. I don't cook. I don't clean. Don't call me a housewife, please. But And there's nothing wrong with being a housewife, yes. though, but it was said in a very derogatory way. Yeah. That was their way to, to kind of dig in. When you told me about that, I came out swinging. I was like, I'm going to have to cut somebody. <laughs> Who am I going to have to cut? And whose person am I going to hold, too? Because I can do that, too. <laughs> I can get all chick on that one too. Um, this is a great uh, e hop or e pop. Sorry, honey. It says social media is a great equalizer. Definitely, I, I love that. And yes, honey, you, that that was a, an interesting experience to have that kind of be that last bastion of throwing down a really big insult. Is let me call you, uh, let me call you a bitty. <laughs> you know, like, good, I am a bitty. <laughs> that, that's all there is to it. But um, yeah, I haven't seen that as much at all on here either and I think people do get checked pretty quickly when they misbehave correct yes yes Jason yes. Weiser <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he's my hero <laughs> yeah oh, we do Jason. love us and Jason Weiser he's, for sure he, he stuck up he came out swinging on that one so. yes he did oh uh, Mark Seidel is saying Wade Harmon is also big on Pinterest yeah hey guys please make sure if there's any links that you want us to see and everybody else to see that you like, that you're that crap crazy about, please start posting links there too because that's what they're, that's for as well, just, you know, uh, posting any spam or porn. Randy, well. Hilar Randy Hilarski just said, um, 12 years as a nurse where he was outnumbered 20 to 1 was not oh. much fun either. <laughs> oh, man. That's right. Actually, Randy and I were just talking about that because, like, I actually uh, pinged uh, Randy and Annabelle all high as a kite on that uh, HOA from the hospital bed the other day. <laughs> he was kind of laughing if I had my little IV and everything. He was like, oh, that'd be hilarious if I was taking care of you. So, yeah, Randy uh, Randy rocked it hardcore. Yeah, talk about the flip of what we're talking about. For sure. Definitely. Uh, uh, Paul Reinhardt says, under end of estimating the value of Pinterest as a male, uh, content manager is a huge mistake and an opportunity to be, to be missed for sure. Holla holla on that one. James Serena, I was an early adopter of Pinterest Absolutely. and probably one of the first guys. I bet James has a recipe page though. <laughs> 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 yeah, he does. So hey, awesome. Stephen Shannon um, made a really great comment. He said, I look forward to not hearing this conversation and then we'll know this does not need to be heard. And that's a good point, is the fact that we still are talking about it, you know. Yes. Um, it shouldn't even be something that needs Absolutely. to be talked about. It should not be an issue at all. I like that a lot. That is well said. That's why I'm a little careful about bringing it up so it doesn't become, as I said in the green room, the vagina monologues. <laughs> I did want it to be, I mean, even when I started the Mia Connect, I had the construction business and then I had this women's uh, network working group and I'm like, I'm a unisex girl. I need something that's for, for everybody and I agree. Now with that being said, I want to see if anybody saw this story that came up and I haven't had a chance to pull up the link, but um, I think it was on, you know, all the major networks about a lot of law firm that came out with a set of, uh, of rules and um, you know a code of conduct and it was specifically targeted at women did you guys see this at all no no it was ridiculous um, you know a lot there was a lot of um, there's a lot of merit to it of, of you know behavior that women have but the fact that this high-level uh, law firm had to say it was like and don't say I'm an awe and you know asking them about how they dress and just this ridiculous um, list of things that you know if, if it was in like let's say there was behavior that a, that a certain employee had and it was going on but they made it a gender thing and it was right. Whoo, that was a big death as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to have to find it and post it because I definitely got a little all, you know, kind of like <laughs> on it too. But uh, it was interesting. I was very shocked that um, in this day and age, what seemed to be a very uh, kind of up-and-coming uh, law firm made that what I consider to be a gaffe. I mean, they had great points, but the fact that they just made that as a handbook for women, I was like, oh, Oh, goodness gracious. Anything else you guys saw going on this week you want to shout about? Of course, we have the Google updates that we're all wetting our pants over. Yay. <laughs> yeah, there were some really good updates. Um, I saw, you know, I've been playing around with it a little bit. I saw that um, um, some people have been making some different, you know, uh, auto awesome videos. 
Um, I need to we try shout it out. It. Yeah, Billy yeah. Funk. Billy Funk made one from our show yesterday. Yeah, um, from the That's Dave. Cute. The David Oldenburg uh, Halloween show that was a lot of fun. Awesome, by the way. Yeah, a lot of fun. That was very fun. Shout out to David and Nicole for having us on. I've got I've got my props here still. (laughs) Is it safe? (laughs) Yeah. Hey, Billy, help me out with the auto awesome of those two, brother, because Mama Mama ain't got no clue. I I changed some settings, but yeah, I I but I love that, Billy. uh, Let's give him a shout too, because. I shared it from you, and that's that whole share share of uh, he d- did a, a video, a very enthusiastic video about the changes that came out on Google Plus, and it that was, was a really fun. good video. Yes, it was. It, it was, awesome. and then his his comments that he had in the show yesterday were great as well, very succinct, and mm-hmm. like I mean, that's a great thing. Eighteen updates, um, not even changes, updates of new stuff, and clearly I I can't grasp them all yet. On Hangouts, but I'm kind of digging it too. So I do love the custom URLs, though. They're really I did too. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, that's yeah. yes. I think I put I threw it it's in my clean. Uh, it it oh it really is. I put it in my uh, my signature here. Now here's another little bit of a downer. And Google, pay attention, as you guys can see from um, the uh, the film strip that's at the bottom. For those of you that had a custom over or a custom third, like I had that Jason made for me, because that that doesn't pop up above it. It looks like it does when you're doing an HOA. So there's a little bit of a doggy downer on that one. I don't I don't like it very much. That's probably the only thing. But they're working it out. It's not perfect. Somebody asked, um, what do we think about the person who got a ticket while driving with the Google glasses? <laughs> Dubious honor, sister. <laughs> I did see that. That was pretty funny. I did see that story. Thank you for throwing the link in there, too. I didn't actually look at it, but uh, the actual story, but I, but I heard about that, too. Ma'am, step out of the car. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, I really want a pair, but um, I, I mentioned that to my fiancé, and uh, I think he almost wanted to call the wedding off when he heard that. He's like, you want to spend $1,500 on what? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I saw you post that. I was like, ooh, that's a steep one. Jack Crawford's got his Google Glass. He needs to come on here again. I haven't seen Jack in a while, but I was one of the first people that he pinged um, from it. He was nerding out in a good way because I was was jelly. (laughs) I was super jelly. Yeah, I really want to pair (laughs) <laughs> I do too. Ladies, let's, um, we're at 46 minutes. I think it's time for us to do some bat crap crazy. So um, let's start with Krithika. What are you bat crap? What, who, and you got, you can give as many as you want because we've got some time, darling. What, what, who are you bat crap crazy about that you want to shout out about? Well, I'm bat crap crazy about the Google Plus community. I love you oh. all very much. <laughs> I think you've been like fantastic to me. And, you know, even like before the hangout and all the encouraging comments I got from people, it made me feel so good about myself. And, of course, I'm bat crap crazy about you two ladies out there. So I'm going to be stalking mm-hmm. you now for quite some time. So it's going to be fun, yeah. I love it when you gently stalk me, and I'm going to do. I'm going to go back at you. And, and again, let me just tell you, it's well deserved for all of the great interaction that you're getting. You again really do interact with people. You give the likes, you give the comments, the shares. Um, uh, you're not spamming. You're doing it right, girlfriend. You're doing Thank it right. You. So, so everybody. I have some attention. really good mentors, so that's good. I There's just follow your Christine lead, and I just go from there. <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks for celebrating, even when it's a hot mess too. So, <laughs> Miss Christine, what are you bat crap crazy about? Well, I am bat crap crazy about my music hangout for one thing. Um, yes, so I am about too. That. On Sunday, I did for the first time. We, you know, because I a couple months ago, I I started a community called My Music Hangout, where you know me and some of my friends were sharing some music. Um, and then I created a page from it. it. The community now has about 300 members, and I really wanted to do a hangout. I mean, that was the whole reason I named it that My Music Hangout. And um, but the you know the thing is, obviously, you can't play copyrighted music um, live, so I couldn't do a right. live hangout. But I went ahead and tried it and did a you know a, a private hangout. Um, we had about uh, 14 or so people jumping in and out. Um, we were actually able to play a YouTube video right in the Hangout and all listen to the same thing at the same time and, you know. Right. Um, as long I, as it's I, not uh, recorded or you're putting it on YouTube, then you're okay with the right, copyright. Right, right, yeah. So, and we were able to chat about it. Um, you know, a couple people were a little confused. Um, a couple people jumped in and kind of wondered 
why we weren't talking, and I said, well, because we're listening to music, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, and I kept muting people because I was like, you know, I, I really want to listen to the music, you know, and then we can talk, chat about it, you know, um, right. all at the and same it's time. it's good stuff, too. <laughs> I, I've been having a good time. Thank you for getting me in on that. Yeah, That's but awesome. it, it was just really fun. It was really different, and, uh, you know, when it, I'm going to try that again. Um, That's kind of like my you know, fun thing to do, um, that I just like to sit back, listen to music, and uh, um, talk about it. So, Dig it, um, girl. fantastic. I'm, I'm also so fat crap crazy about you, Mia. That's why I approached you to do this show together. You know, um, I think it's going to be darling. so awesome. Really looking forward to it. And um, I think that we're just going to, you know, really be able to feature some people that might not otherwise get to be brought on, you know, that um, cause we know so many people. I think that we both have an eye for spotting talent, you know, like when we see it, like Kitty right. Cat here, and um, <laughs> exactly. you know, um, Billy Funk, you know, just like the personalities, you know, that there's so many people here that are just so awesome, and, you know, a lot of them aren't involved in social media, Mm -hmm. um, but they or they're scared you know, to be. They haven't made that jump yet. So yeah, we're going to be yeah. this uh, this nice little uh, little stair step up to it. Of like, here you go, jump on so in and make it easy for you. We're actually calling it um, 15 minutes of fame. So we're going to give somebody their 15 minutes. Yep. In the spotlight, uh, we are keeping the show to a half hour so that it's like a on hump day. You know, we've got a half hour to spare. Hump day. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's not going to take your whole day. It's just yep. going to be pretty easy and fun. And, uh, nope. And know. we're going to have the community open, too, so we want to hear uh, what people have to say, who they're loving, who they want to want to shout out to. Yeah, yeah. Um, honey, I, you know, I woke up last Sunday morning, you guys, and got, because and, uh, Christine's two hours ahead and got this, I have an idea, and I was like, what, what, what? Like, it was <laughs> awesome. That was Christine's idea to do this. I had a somewhat of an interview format earlier and kind of let it die out because I love the social media power chat so much. So the universe brought me Christine DeGraff and this new idea so I can talk yeah, about people I love. I mean, I, I just, as you know, I've been like crazy, you know, on Hangouts a lot lately um, mm -hmm. and just really enjoy them. And, but I, I just didn't feel like I wanted to be so the one, you know, like carrying the whole show or, you know, having to village. run the show. And, you know, yeah. I thought, you know, it, it just is so much easier having a co-host and um, being able to bounce off each other and, you know. And David you know. Uh, Aldenberg and Nicole uh, sure know that as well. So they, yeah. they got yep, it going they on great. too. So I, I love, love that. Show. I, yeah, I do too. They are doing Oh, Jason Weiser saying that. Hey, I need to give a shout out to Cousin Will who just said he's loving it. So Will E. Cousin, shout out to you. Uh, Lynn wants to know what's in my two because <laughs> I look like a drink hooker over here. <laughs> I got coffee and I got vitamin juice. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to do some I've stuff. I've got my sugar-free Red Bull here going Get it, girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Yeah, I am uh, back crap crazy about yes about the new show and uh, and then featuring people like Krithika that, that's gonna uh, come on that one too. Like I love to talk about stuff I love. I think we can be a bullhorn. All of us can. That's what we're doing a lot too. So I'm loving it. So we're gonna post a community page for the new show. Awesome. I'm gonna post a community page for this show because now you can start seeing because we've got some people coming up by the way I've got Dustin Stout and Michael Cutai. Oh wow. Oh, oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> Love Dustin Stout. I do too and then Michael's going to be out of Japan. He just got access to uh, like the YouTube studios or something in Japan so I'm going to pimp them out so hardcore. We have a weekend edition next uh, Saturday because I'm going to be working with Junior Achievement on Friday. So next Saturday is going to be the show. So for you folks who are, it's killing you on Fridays, get your jammies on. We're going to be doing gym jams again next Saturday with <laughs> Dustin and uh, Michael Cutot and then also Jessica Northy, big old girl crush. Why am <laughs> coming up the week after that too. So, but uh, November 13th, that's our, our rollout show for this new one with, with Christine and myself, 15 minutes of fame people. Tune in. That's the best birthday present because I uh, my birthday is on November 12th. Girlfriend. Oh, awesome. <laughs> well, I, you know, one of one of the things that is going to be our format too is in addition to featuring someone, we want to have a, a another guest. So, um, Kitty Cat, would you be our guest for your birthday? Oh, sure. 
Okay, your there you go. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Did you hear that for your birthday? I hope I don't mess it up for you guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so then it'll be the it'll be the three of us again, and so, and we're gonna pick one other person to give their fifteen minutes of fame to. Yep. So, does that sound good? Exactly. So there's Perfect. a lot there's a lot of ways for us to showcase it too. So guys are coming up at 54 past the hour. That's it for this week. Thank you to my guests, to Christine and Krithika. My two ka 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 girls love you. This has been awesome in our jammy day. So and thanks everybody who commented. This is off the chain today. So we're gonna uh, jump off and still be commenting, but um, we'll have the community pages. You guys go like it and wow, love you all. Have a fabulous weekend. You too. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.